Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play with Alice Mayer. When we left off, I wasn't filming where I am now. I actually moved rooms, changed things up quite a bit inside my apartment, but it's for the better. Now I can film when I need to film, and I'll be able to get videos done more consistently for you guys, so it actually works out for the better. I'm sorry, it's not as adorable as seeing Doraemon in the background, but we have a mystery to solve. We just finished Josh's world, and I don't know what's going on, but I want to talk to the rabbit and see what he's going to do for me now. Okay, welcome back. Oh, your expression is entirely different from last time. Ah, uh, no, I believe I understand. Well then, I'll collect all the things from that world, and I'll put together those pages as always. Here you are. Got a turquoise notebook. Now then, I'll open the door to the next world. I'm counting on you once more. Why does he take all my stuff? It's really weird. He likes to take all my stuff. Hello, girl. Oh dear, Alice, what is it? Ah, yes, you'd like to play. Very well. What shall we play? Anything's fine. Yes, indeed. So I see. Shall we open the closet? Oh, I love opening this closet. Let me see what's on the piano first, though. I can play the piano! I'm a genius! Alright. <coughs> Let's open it and see what's hiding behind here. Oh, sweet lord, you're in a graveyard. Why are we in a graveyard? This is weird. Okay. Alright. I can't click on anything. So I guess this is just going to be your good old fashioned maze. Where's the exit? Which way do I want to go? This way? With the blood? Yeah. Seems likely enough. Okay, let's just keep going. That's not... Oh, no, it is where I need to be. Alright. Through the maze. Uh, blood is over there, which means I need to do something that I'm not doing right now. Okay. Got it sorted out. Here we go. I'm a genius. I'm a child prodigy. Uh, that looks weird. Oh, Alan. You're here, Alan? Which means, I see. Ah, thank you, teacher. That will be fine. You need to fix up your hair as well, teacher. You look hideous. No, I'm fine. I have no time to cut it, and I don't know how. And that means you can't? Surely you could just fumble it. No, I'd really need to know. Besides, that's not the kind of thing I'm interested in knowing now. I didn't quite catch that. It's boring standing around. Come, let's go somewhere else. Alan, I'll follow behind you. I'm sure it'll be amusing whatever path you take. Stella. Isn't this fine? Nothing can come of staying in the same place. What will you do, teacher? You told me to stay here because I was on my own. Yes, well... You don't really listen to me, do you? <laughs> I'll come with you. So it's settled. Well, Alan, we're counting on you. Wait, you guys are all coming with me? That's new. It's teacher's cooking, though I don't know uh, what it's doing here. It's quite delicious, however. There's always foods I've never seen before. I learned how to cook abroad. I've been to all kinds of lands. The differences in places were rather interesting. Though at first, I tended to overcook everything. Hmm. So things are different elsewhere. How very strange. I think he mentioned that before. Teach me how to make these meals later, please. Alright, sure. We'll cook together. All of us. I promise. I can't wait. I can. Because terrible things are going to happen to us. Uh, I don't know what those holes are. There's a spider here. Sp spider. I can't, I can't click on you. Okay, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm not allowed to do that. So, let's go this way. I guess we're just wandering through a maze. Uh, nothing there except more holes, which I don't think I want to go through. Are there like secret items I need to get or anything? Who is that? Is that a doll or is that somebody who's collapsed over there? Also, I see a shiny. Let me go back and get the shiny. I need the shiny in my lifey. Yes. All right. Got another shard. I think these are good. Like it's a good thing to grab them. So I've been doing a good job of finding them. Okay. We need to go here. Oh, I don't know if I want to be a person or a doll. Hmm. Hey, you listen. I'm a spider. I was dozing off when somebody took my legs. You're... Oh, you're a spider. I thought it was somebody laying face down. 
I can't walk like this. Can't even look for him. So you go searching for him instead. Y Yo, no response, huh? Looks like the big dude back there is thinking hard. You, boy, I'm counting on you. Fail me and I'll eat you. Alan, what is that bug going on about? I see. His legs. I'm not doing a thing. You can do it, Alan. All of it. Or else I'll have to toast you and eat you. Say what, girl? Seriously? Why does everybody want to eat me all of a sudden? Is that like the threat of the day? Hey, if you don't do what I want, I'm going to eat ya. Alright, I guess that's what I need to do. I don't remember seeing any spider legs. Uh, unless that's the little things that are crawling around around here, but I doubt it. Are you a spider leg? No, you're not spider leg. What's in the hole? There's something buried here. Sure. Mystery legs. Bug legs? Stop it. Keep it. Uh, keep that away from me. I hate bugs. You may have a pretty face, Alan, but I suppose you're a boy on the inside after all. <laughs> yeah, I do have a really pretty face. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something really smart and smarmy. And it just did not happen. So let's... I guess we got to go back through and find more legs. Okay, nothing's dug up there. Okay, so I need to go back through and check all of the holes. We got one. I wonder if it's how many legs there are per... We just got one. Ugh. Alright, so we got to find eight different holes that have bug legs in them. That's just wonderful. That's exactly what I wanted to do today. That's how I wanted to spend my time. Can I go this way? Nope. Okay. So... Uh, there's no holes here. How did I find those? Wait, hang on. A bunch of legs. Okay, so maybe they're just all together. Maybe I just need to find one. Maybe I'm overthinking things. I tend to do that. You guys know that. I, I tend to overthink things and now I'm in a hole that I don't need to be in. So let's go back and see if that's all we need to do for the Spider-Man. I mean, is he going to eat us anyways? Should I save? I'm going to save before I help him. Because he might try to eat us. Why can't I make it through that space? Okay, there we go. And we're good to go. Alright, going around. Freaking cemetery maze. Uh, teacher didn't even help, which is kind of, it's kind of messed up, you know, to be honest with you. you think that he would do something. My legs! Thanks a bunch. Now put them on quick, will ya? And listen, don't get the number of legs wrong. If you mess up, I might find myself mighty hungry. That's right, I'll eat you, capiche? How many legs does this spider have? Is that, seriously, that's a question? Yeah, feels good. If you'd only put four legs or six legs on me, I would have really eaten you. I would step on your face. Alright, thanks. I'll tell you about the secret place. Close your eyes. What did that book say? I see. Hmm. I don't want to. I hate the dark. It's possible he may attack us. He does seem rather rough. The hell, man? You wouldn't even speak up before. Just close him. Quick. Close. 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 Let's just do what he says. Hmm. <laughs> Ah oh, man, you're a real lifesaver, you know? Now take a deep breath. Uh, secret place, huh? Yeah, this looks very secret. This looks mighty secret. Why am I here? I'm a bit tired. Can we rest here? Sure, whatever you want. Just what is this place? I thought it was a dream, but it's not. I know these places, and yet I don't. And I'm tired of walking. Yes, it's a big place, easy to get lost. If you don't want to go further, you two can stay here. Are you going, teacher? Why? Why are you so anxious to leave on your own? I don't like people to know me, or to get them involved. I've always been that way. I see. You always have such unhappy faces, teacher. Alan, everyone. Alan, do you think you're the least happiest of all? I'm just being ambiguous, I'm not sure. Have you forgotten even how to feel? Yes. Perhaps you can no longer feel that you're unhappy. This is just what I think, but you can't compare happiness and unhappiness between people. They're both just obstacles on the path you take. Even happiness is an obstacle? If that's so, then what do people seek? You're confusing, teacher. And you say you know best because you're an adult. 
Knowing the answers is what makes you an adult. And I don't. So your teacher, still a kid. I've never seen such a big, incomprehensively babbling child as you before. <laughs> You're a harsh one, Stella. Alright, I'm fine now. Let us proceed. I can't be sure, but if we move on, I feel I'll be able to find what's been troubling me. Why are you two alive, yet feel so dead? Okay. Had some random deep conversations there. Uh, let's go this way. Um. Okay. What am I? What am I trying to find? That is the real question. Okay then. I don't see a thing that I can do here. What about down? What's what's here? Nothing there. Okay. Uh, you just. Whoa, God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Why? Why are you? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Let's get the crap out of me. I was gonna say that thing just wants to play Tetris. What are those bats? Okay. Weird. What's up here? Uh, where'd the music go? Oh, there's somebody up there. Let's go talk to him. Do you have a, a riddle for me? Do you have a puzzle? Is that the Cheshire Cat? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I know I'm blocking the way. My body's missing some things. Right hand, right leg, left leg, left eye. I just took a nap and they were gone. I'm writing those down because they may be very important. I might find spare parts of everything. Okay, so right hand, uh, right leg, left leg, and left eye. How did you lose those when you were asleep, though? Are those white stick things bones? Are you alive? That's right, they're bones. The exterior is rotted away. Whether or not I'm alive is a terribly minor concern to have in this world. So, will you gather the parts of my body? Alan, you do it. Thanks for your cooperation. Alrighty then. It's time to go body part hunting. I wonder if that's what the other uh, the other room was for. With all the tombstones and the mazes, because there, there really wasn't anything there. I hope they're just in a hole or something, though. Okay, are the bats coming back out here? I didn't understand the bats. Okay. What's back this way? Whole lot of nothing. Alright, I'm glad I came this way to verify the fact that nothing is going to happen of any importance here. So we need to go to the left. Oh god, I gotta catch him? I gotta catch him all? So how am I supposed to- Good god, you're twitchy! Seriously? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, they're all down here. Grab them all. Did I get one? I don't know if I got one or not. Okay, I think I'm getting them. It just doesn't tell me I got them. Uh, okay. Up here, and then your eye. Give me your eye. I think I got them all. It doesn't show me anything. So, did I get them? I think I did. Are they going to be back over here? I think I got them all. Let's go talk to them and see. It's not in my inventory, which is really throwing me off. But maybe I just have to walk over them. You're still alive or dead or whatever you are. You still you, buddy? Oh, that's it. Those are my parts. Careful with the eyeball. Those get crushed easily. I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. There's a faint trace of his smell. What a terrible smell. Okay, one of the things I've noticed in this chapter so far is we have had no notebook pages. I don't know if that's on purpose Alan Stella you are not to proceed any further than this just stay there yes you promised what's this about whoa god Cheshire cat dramatic interest as always this is what it's about boy gloomy faces all around again hey Alice if it hurts you want to have me free you Nah, too much of a pain. I don't like him. I can't tell if he's dead or alive. Oh, mean! 
I died of fine death a long time ago. Well, but first... I'm nothing if not the keeper of promises. Pretty funny though. Didn't steal anything from you, but you're just like the rest. Well, no need to steal, because you didn't have much of it in the first place. Just talking to myself. My job's done. Good night! I don't know anything about teacher or about him. I wonder why I have this misty feeling. The door is gone. What do we do? I'll leave this to you. Thanks. I'm going to check the mirrors. Okay. These are lovely pictures. They're so lovely. I hope I don't have to look at those ever again. Hi. It's a mess. Okay. It's, it's a mess. What, what's a mess? What's a mess? A piano. Mind if I play for a bit? This piano is missing some notes. Perhaps they've been buried or hidden somewhere. Okay. Am I supposed to search every single grave? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's no way. There's no way that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I do not buy it for one second. There's got to be a reason why these stones are here. Uh. Okay, well, that was fun. Thanks. Thanks so much for that. What's over here? Okay, that's a mess too. We got butterflies. We got shiny things. Got another shard. So I guess I'll go ahead and save. I don't know where tr teacher got trapped to. Many names are written here. The names of everyone in the town. One day, I'll be carved into this cold rock as well. Teacher told me that people, when they're forgotten, die a second time. Do you know what, thing, uh, what things you forget first after a person dies? He said that voices go first. I hardly remember any of their voices myself. Do we forget in order to move on from that person's death? Or else, do we stop caring once they're dead? I wonder which one it is. Okay, that's a mess. That's a tree. Uh, what? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't, I don't see anything here, and these just say it's a mess. My whole life is a mess right now. What do you want me to do? Uh, okay, so these have to mean something. But what? They don't indicate where, like, keys are at or anything. I don't get it. I don't understand what I need to do. There's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. Uh, something's buried here. Okay, we got a note. Ha! <sighs> nothing. Okay. I'm sure there's a better way to do this than to just search each one, one by one, but I guess that's what I need to do. How many notes do we need anyways? No idea. Just check in all the tombstones. Okay, we got two. Alright, two's not enough. Excuse me? Uh-huh, and then what? Okay, why is there a cat meowing at me? I seriously, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, God. Nothing, 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 nothing. Is that cat important? Okay, that one's made of glass. Got another note. I hope breaking these tombstones isn't a bad thing. Although, I have a feeling it is. Okay, we got three notes. Uh, you can't play without all the notes, of course. I'm so sorry. Sorry to trouble you. I thought I checked all these, though. Maybe I didn't. I don't know what I checked and what I didn't. Gotta do them all one by one. Oh, God. I hope there's not like a front and back to them. Is there? Okay, we got another note. We got another note. Whew, the notes are back. Give me a moment. Play away. Or just play until the piano kills you. 
One or the other. Whichever comes first. Pianos are really nice. They don't make any unnecessary sounds. Living people are just megaphones, shouting nonsense. Why do you and everyone else go along with my selfish wishes? I see. You're all oddballs, even though you seem dead. You've all experienced loss, so like the dead... I think I get it. Let us go! You already know, don't you? No? What was that dramatic end to your piano music? Why did you do that? Why did it go all blood red? Do I need to go back here? Are you really- are you dead or something? I don't particularly like my own name. They reached their hands out to me, but couldn't reach, so they fell to their deaths. I just watched from up high. I could do nothing. I just found it petty. So I approached, and I fell. Oh, pretty? Petty? Sorry. But that's fine. Living humans all get dirty. Teacher said he doesn't like his own name either. Teacher is still hiding something. As for what I'll do, I'll leave it to you, Alan. What we're missing, what we want, I know. I know why none of you feel alive to me. I know why people lose XXXXX when they die. I should have eaten the poison apple then. They all died. Every single one. What about you, Alan? Will you eat it with me? Uh... Sure. I see. Well, if that's your choice... Am I gonna game over? That was anticlimactic. Are you serious? Oh, oh, great. And I didn't get any of the shards yet. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta get the freaking notes again so I can play the piano. And this time, I'm not gonna eat the apple. So, this time, I'm not going to eat the poison apple. Little Miss Crazy Head can do it on her own. I'm not eating it. I see. Take care of the others. Good night, Alan. Good night, goodbye, whatever you want to call it. You're done. You're dead. Obtain the notebook scrap. Finally! Everyone has the same eyes, but I don't know why. But they're dead, all of them. They've been, uh, they've long been searching, but they can't find it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure this out because you guys actually in the comments solved one. So, um, okay, so this must be, but teacher, you understand, don't you? Right? Is that what you guys would say? I would say so. The words toward the end are too blurred to read. I bet you that's what it is. What if all the notes are to the teacher? Oh, what if all the notes are actually to the teacher himself? And he's hiding some hideous secret. That would be awesome. Okay. I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Um, I think the next episode is going to be the end. I think we're going to confront the teacher. Again, I know there's seven different endings to this game. So I'm going to play through the way that I believe will be the, the proper way or the way that I would come to a conclusion. And um, I don't know, I may do a separate episode where I do all the all the endings and things like that. But I want to kind of trek through and see what else we can do. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Gives you an eerie feeling. Yes, indeed it does. Okay. Whoa, God. That's terrifying. Stop with the punching of the floors. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I feel like those are signifying something. I just don't know what. 